Welcome to Floating Nifty Podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's very, <laughs> it's very special for me. Timothy. Yes. And Louis. Yes. We know each other from two thousand five. Yes, for a long time. Yeah, for a long time. We've known each other for two thousand and five years. <laughs> That's not how no. time works. <laughs> cool. Before we start with the tea, any request? No, I think、um, I think you should just lead us on your journey of of what's getting you excited right now and for teas. Surprise us. Okay, I will surprise you then. Then we'll start with、uh, Louis. Oh. <laughs> This tea is for you. Oh, thank、yeah. you. Let's see if you will tell me if I'm right. You're I, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Oh. If I choose the right tea for you. Okay. That I I think the tea. Well, the tea for sure is right. That I think is the tea that we uh Jie Yuan. Ah. Can you uh translate that? We connect. Yes. And、Something via which to connect <laughs> <laughs> to befriend to establish rapport, blah blah blah. Yeah, blah blah. That's how we start blah blah in the tea, that、mm. specific tea. Ah, okay. The one that speaks to both of us, the one that makes us. Yes, we're friends from now on. <laughs> That that one I'm、tea. not sure, <laughs> and I also think the tea. Later this part, you have to tell me. I think the tea describe you a little bit. Oh. Of who you are. Oh okay. Oh, how I know about you. Your impression of me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> tea really brought Lewis and I together. Actually,、yeah. that was kind of our first date. Oh. Was to come over to his place to、oh. have tea. Oh, not in my shop. No, <laughs> you came later. <laughs> But I do remember、oh. the first time was when you had the other tea shop. Yeah, in, the, in the a little、house. triangle.、Yeah. And we、yeah. went there. Oh, nice. Yes. Cool, cool. But、Before. how long have you been in this space? This space since two thousand eight. Yeah,、wow. forever. I feel. Yeah, forever. Forever. Yeah. Seriously. Twelve years. I feel very aged. Aged. <laughs> Just like, like a, a good, good tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, toasty looking. Different looking, huh? From what you, if you know what tea, this tea, this. I kind, do. I yeah, do. Yeah, but very different looking, huh? Very. I'm a big fan of Bao Zhong Cha. Ah.、Oh. Bao Zhong tea. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And、But、he can see from the. I love the, Bao Zhong too. He can see from the dry leaves there is a Bao Zhong tea, and yet looks. Different. Very、It's... different from what he usually or what we usually. How would it、mm-hmm. would it be rolled? The shape, the、yeah. the shape, the feeling of the tea,、uh-huh. the dry、yeah. leaves. It's even longer, more individualized. This version. Yeah. Is it looks to- maybe even a little bit toastier, like、that、toasted a little bit longer. Can you、uh, get a bowl of、uh, the regular bao zhong out? Oh yeah.、Mm-hmm. And let them compare. So I'll just set this here. Mm. Exciting. Mm. Even has a slight nice、mm. smell right now. That's how I smell. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I am. That's too. Oh. <laughs> Wait, too too inter- soon. <laughs> too intimate. Xie <laughs> xie. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a bao zhong that we normally carry.、Mm-hmm. Maybe the camera can see a little bit. <laughs> this is a pocket, <laughs> and this is the bao zhong that we are gonna drink today. Yay! Oh yeah, I see it. Very different feeling.、Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Well, they're like they're like it's more delicate looking for one thing. This one. Yeah, the one, one that we are drinking. More delicate, where these、okay. leaves are more open. See, this is more delicate. 
Like maybe they do they, they roll it more? Yeah, maybe they, they twist roll it, it more. Roll it more or something. This the this is like less. See how delicate oh, and that, that one, is. That one, that one, it yeah, feels like it rolls more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, we'll see. I actually don't know. <laughs> So what happened to it looking like this, I think uh, majorly is because this come from a wild ah. uh, tea, tree area. Oh. Yeah, wild tea trees. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. So this is not necessarily a farmed tea? Not, not, a, not a field tea. Oh. This is cultivated. This one, the one that we carry, it's, yes. it is cultivated in a field and very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one is like wild, wild tea. Yeah. Wow. So then people forage for it. Yes. Who and, has... and and sometimes it can be it can be the the farmer the farmer later decided to not do anything to that field. Right. It can be that way too. It it, it can it. start with somebody somebody planted tea plants and then uh uh, some people do change in a in a in a course. It's like, oh, I want to do organic tea only, and then they, they change it into organic tea, and then later they discover organic tea is still too well managed. That the the earth feeling is different. How about let's just let it go? Yeah, biodynamic. Yeah, biodynamic. And this one in Chinese they call it Yuan Shi Ling. Uh, oh, Yuan the Shi original. Sun. Yeah, not just like wild whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So there are many trees in that re area, or just no, a couple of trees? No, this one, how many gene? He only made five, five gene. Oh. One harvest, just five, six hundred grams. That's wow. it. That's it. That's it. So yeah. Kilos. That's wow. it. He three only kilos. makes three kilos. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, Rare. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. it's really, For... I hope it's good. So today we come with two cups. One is fragrance cup mm -hmm. and one is drinking cup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> la la la. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Lovely. Yeah, this tree gets to rest, you know, not Feels get really picked good. all the time. Yeah, not, yeah, it just, how do you guys even sometimes describe that feeling? Just Well, it just kind of opens up in your mouth and mm. um, coats it nicely mm. and it's um, layers. And well, generous. It feels like a generous, generous. Yeah. tea. Yeah, yeah. it just feels really open. Yeah, the tree open. has a lot of experience to show you. Mm. And then on the note, the the it's like honey almost at the end. Mm -hmm. the Very smell. sweet, huh? Yeah. Mm. But when I first poured it out, it was you can get the grassy notes, mm -hmm. and then then you get the honey. Yeah. Now that it's settled, now that it's it's kind of settled into the cup. Oh yeah, two different smells. For me. Yeah. Huh? I wonder if that has to do anything to do with the shape, the okay. shape, yeah. and maybe the material, the, uh, the material like yeah. how much Thickness. absorbs it. Yeah. The heat, the yeah. color. <laughs> well, maybe not the they color. Smell white. They want smell blue. Ah. Mm. Very smart. So I just pick up these cups, a smelling cup only, and you can keep your drinking cup. Yes. And how many pours do you get out of this tea? This one, uh, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> you haven't had it before. I only, we don't have a lot. Right. Actually, we, we, we couldn't buy it even. Uh, so we just, the, the, the our, our teacher who got hold of this tea, uh, gifted us 60, like oh. 50 grams. Oh, nice. Oh, oh and, wow. Yeah, so once in a while, we'll drink a little bit. Just like, oh, yeah. that's so, so good. Three, four grams are gone today. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to cry. <laughs> no, I got an itch in my eye. 
Bitch. Uh, came on strong. It was like, I was an itch in my eye. It's broadcasting live. Yeah, I know. It's not live, but oh, right. people will still see it. There's editing. <laughs> if we don't edit it out. I think our idea is do not edit, like try not to edit anything out. Right. Just keep everything in there. Yeah, yeah. makes it fun. I know, I'm, I just remember that I bought something like that before, similar to that kind of quality. Yeah. From yeah, from a uh, long time ago. I know, we, uh, we uh, know the, the same The place farmer. where we went, she had piles of newspapers. I was just thinking about her. Yeah. She sold me similar type of tea once like that. Uh, that they, a different time that I wasn't there. I don't remember. We went there twice, right? No, I only ever went there once. I, I went there twice. Okay. Yeah, this shop is like this and 10 times more intense. Oh, I know. Remember? We were there. <laughs> it's like there was that corner, but yeah. five times She was higher. way back there somewhere. <laughs> 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 Buried. Yeah. In, in like stuff. 10 years of a newspaper. Right. Yes. Yeah, it was funny. And charming, of course. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, completely it's charming. crazy, she crazy was... place. Yeah. I should give him a nickname. I call him Grumpy. <laughs> yes. I, I don't think he's grumpy. Right. Actually, it's more of how he uh, how he feel business with me. Mm. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. just, he told me, do not, like, I almost, I have no right, right to, to be there. To choose tea. Mm -hmm. just, just trust him and he can send me stuff. And I said, no. Right. <laughs> so, Which I don't know who is more upset, grumpy. I guess know. I'm more grumpy. <laughs> no, you're not more grumpy. You're just like, uh oh. Sorry, you don't get to put your, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose what I like. Yeah. It's, and smell how delicate it is. It is very delicate. And yet how much smoothness is in the scent. Mm -hmm. It's very oily. Oily? Mm -hmm. the essence, the essential oil feeling. Mm. Oh, I never thought of it that way. It's like drinking oil <laughs> in a nice way. Smooth. A little more tannins on this one. Mm -hmm. And it is sit for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and the tannins and, come out now. And and the thing is, if you have the same cup of tea that is uh, like brewed at the same time, at the same style, I bet that tea will be really, really a lot of tannin, the mm -hmm. other cup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there will be like so much tannin that you can... Mm -hmm. But this one have that the oily feeling that Luis was mm -hmm. talking about to hold it all together. So oily. I'll it's think about really that. More reserved. The mm -hmm. other one just go. <laughs> this one has more patience. With a lot of good teas, I feel like no matter how long you. I mean, sure, there's a length of time, but like you breathe like longer than usual, and yes, some of the bitter taste or some of the uh, this one is not even like a little bit bitter, just a, a touch, not mm -hmm. much. Or the tannin uh, dryness that people are talking about, mm -hmm. it's it just it's well held together, mm -hmm. no problem, mm -hmm. right? You know, maybe like a good bottle of wine too. Exactly. You know, like well, yeah. Everything is focused and yeah. everything is tight I mean, together. Since I've learned to really enjoy tea on a, you know, in this tradition here, I definitely equate it with wine. I mean, I totally might want, because me knowing not a lot about wine, but I can definitely tell different, like, that I can apply that to this quite, mm -hmm. it makes the same kind of sense to think of it that way. Yeah. You are a 
floating leaf graduate. Yes. <laughs> Student. And graduate. Not a, no, not a graduate at all. But、um, maybe no graduates here yet. Certified. I'm not sure if I graduate here yet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> But it does have those similar qualities, for sure. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I I will say I don't know much about wine、mm. at all because I don't hold alcohol well, so I can't drink much. Right. As you guys notice, I normally have like have a glass yeah, for yeah. the like almost for the whole evening. Um, just I I can't hold that much alcohol.、Right. But the thing is, just like you are right, you use the same, you know, like when I then sip a a sip of wine, you know, first thing come to my mind, body,、mm-hmm. right? Is it balanced? Yes. Does it feel good?、Mm-hmm. Right. Where is it hitting me? Exactly. <laughs> is it off balance? Or is it too,、uh, too sweet? Then I don't. Maybe、yeah. not my type of wine, etc., etc.、Mm. Then with tea, the same. Yeah, I think first infusion of this tea is a actually it's a overall feeling like it's opening and it it just enters the body so well. It's like really pretty to me. Yes, you know.、Yeah. And second one, I do focus a little bit more on the since he kind of cue me, Louis、yeah. cue me that it's oily. Right. Then I like automatically I was like, hmm, I think I can get what he says, which is a texture. Mm-hmm. You know, good texture feeling. It does have really good texture, right? Just like、yeah. oily and round.、Mm-hmm. And, uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I guess I didn't think to oil. Think about、oh. oil, but、sure. essential oil is different from cooking oil. Right. <laughs> it's, it's more volatile. That's what I mean. The volatile、oh. oil. Oh.、Yeah. I was more thinking about the like that smooth, the slippery. Yeah, yeah, slippery. Like good oil is like、mm-hmm. not greasy and、right. really round and mm-hmm. slippery. Mm-hmm.、Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a good olive oil. Eh. Too, for that matter, when you have a really, really good one. Yeah. Like that night、yeah. we are basically、yeah. drinking the oil from your <laughs> tomato juice. <laughs> yes. When we were doing that, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So the leaves didn't get picked until a little bit older than the farm-raised leaves. Oh, that part I'm not sure. I would say not necessary. It's、mm-hmm. when I I think am I correct when you are saying that? It's just because you see more of the the stem, the little you know the stems and the 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 off color parts.、Uh-huh. I think it's just because it's wild,、mm-hmm. so the leaves are actually not as pretty anymore.、Right. And it's thinner. Yeah, they are just like a thinner leaf rather than more open. They are just not as pretty. Yeah. And then the 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 cultivated teas that is is well put together. It's like、yeah. really pretty.、Yeah. Right. It's like the difference between you know, Or, yeah, you know, wild produce、salmon. that's been been cultivated、yeah. and then produce that's like you know the apple、yeah. that grows in your backyard. Greenhouse it's not vegetables. Look too pretty. But it's gonna taste really good. Yeah, yeah. Or tomatoes for that reason. Correct. Now they、yeah. have the organic tomato. I mean the the、no. uh, heirloom tomato. You know they're they're goop. You know they're bulbous. Goofy looking. Strain, yeah. Versus yeah. greenhouse. But、vegetable. the flavor is like a whole other planet. Yeah. Yeah. We we、texture. visited a a different place and then the the actually the farmer didn't know what he was doing when it comes to growing plants. He just he just have that. Interest and then that,、mm-hmm. you know, passion to grow tea because、mm-hmm. he said he remember he uh he remember a a tea that he drank a、uh, long time ago maybe in the seventies, and then he just like I want to see if I can recreate that tea, yeah, recreate. and and we visited the field and he just like he just he just a big person kind of.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> We call him the Taiwan Santa Claus. <laughs> jolly, <laughs> he's a jolly fellow. Yeah, and then he just like look at the. He took us to visit his plants, and then he just like this. Do you know who get who gets who get the leaves first?、Mm-hmm. Worms <laughs> and bugs, and then it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 leaves doesn't look as、uh, pretty, right, right. And, but the、exactly. the thing is the result is. Yes,、mm. it, it's really good because、um, uh, if you guys believe in this, and this one is even brewed much longer,、um, this infusion, 
in tea and maybe in other plants people talk about the earth energy yeah. and when you let the the plant to have time to grow and not doing much to it the root go really long mm -hmm. and then it just it just they don't even like give it nutrients it just it just right. whatever nature and yeah. then, so they become really tough yes and so when you feel this kind of tea it feels something extra mm -hmm. is, is happening yeah 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 the tea the tree is resilient because it endures nature's elements eh. yeah yeah, yeah, rather than just like nutrient harvest, nutrient right, harvest, right, trimming, right, nutrient right. harvest, trimming. You know, that, that kind of cycle rather than, ooh, there are a lot of bugs this year. I better yeah. do something by myself. Yes. Oh, there's not as so yeah. much nutrition, not as so much rain this season. Let me do something too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think. Oh, wow. I mean, there was such a, it was such a, you know, trend to you know to control nature and now i like kind of the new ways of of farming certainly on small levels not just with tea but all mm -hmm. kinds of mm -hmm. things that letting the plant take its course yeah and let it be, be more close to the what it really is mm -hmm. this is a really long brew but it, really it, long it's brew. so smooth it's almost like s swallowing an oyster <laughs> You know. Let me see. I can have four hours, so let me drink this tea. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It just flows down without resistance. Yeah, uh, after brewing for that long. Mm. So let me add a little bit of the tea leaves in there. Mm. Some people say this is... That was a nice pour. Yeah. Ah. That was maybe the best of the three. Like what, I liked the what, first what, one what because it was just so light and floral and pretty. Eh. And then the second one was like more tannin mm -hmm. focused. This time the tannins were softer and it was just more holistic again, where it was like this. The tea itself yeah. yeah. really came shiny. back together again. Like I thought the second pour had a little too much tannin. Too much tannin. A little too much tannin. tannin. And you see how long I brew that tea? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And let's add some more dry leaves in there. Oh. Yeah. Zui xiang. Uh -huh. I don't know how to translate. Chasing, is that, is that chasing the fragrance? Yeah. Chasing. Okay, okay. so it's a, it's a, a metaphor or analogy. Not an analogy. What a technique. Um, oh. I always confuse those things. In English, you call it chasing the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to think if there's the anything phoenix you can chase the well you phoenix wouldn't do that with coffee necessarily to edit back egg some bacon and brew it again no what we do is we'll <laughs> if it's really good coffee eh. which usually that's what we always have is we can we do like a second pour of water in it and it's just a lighter oh. version of it and that oh. works really well with like the more fruitier super fruit forward coffees oh. and we've been we bought this bag of uh this brew of, um, gosh, where is it from? Bumbunya. I know, but uh, the the country, uh, b b b the African country, b oh. with a B. <laughs> Didn't mean to promote the other brand. Oh no no no! Here. Very good, Boom Boom. What? Bumbunya. Bumbunya. It's a it's a. <laughs> um, they have a couple of coffee shops, and of course, a lot bulk of it's online. But mm. it's um, it's all African coffees. Local? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, owned by an Ethiopian fellow. Oh. He was there that one day when we went there. Okay. Or I was there. You weren't. That's I right. I wasn't there. But anyways, well, go visit when we have time. It's mm -hmm. wonderful. The coffees are really good, and they're huh. really that fruit forward, so it just tastes like ooh. Huh. And it just, I just find them maybe even superior to to. Um, South American ones and stuff. I just find the fruitiness Ooh, some much people more are gonna appealing. leave a comment, <laughs> <laughs> but no problem. Right, right, that's right. your that's your take on on the yeah, yeah, on yeah, the coffee yeah, yeah. And, and and I used to be more of like I like my dark roast. I want you know like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now I I don't want that. I really want that fruity, bright quality. Uh. 
And theirs is smooth because sometimes you get that fruity where it's just a little bit like almost tart mm. to a sour note, which mm. I don't want. Oh, sour. Uh, they know uh, what they're doing and mm. they've got it down and it's mm. just beautiful tasting. I gotta go visit. They're yeah. Oregon Pinot of coffee. Yeah. Oregon Pinot They're on the 12th, like <laughs> 12th in uh, Cherry, like right oh. across from Seattle University there. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. It's a pretty shop and it's got yeah. nice outdoor areas mm. so you can sit outside and mm. sip coffee. They also make a really good coffee drink that both oh, yeah. of us love, which is... They do, um, a, in the summer, they did an iced coffee where uh. it was an iced brew of their African coffee. Mm -hmm. And um, instead of using water, they used um, sparkling mineral water. Oh. And so it's got wow. a little bit of fizz to it. And then they put in a tablespoon of fresh squeezed orange juice. Oh, wow. And it squeeze a twist of, uh, of orange have it's never. perfect. <laughs> you're like, oh, God, coffee and oranges flavors are like a perfect combination. Kind of like how orange and coffee or chocolate go together. Yeah, you know, they play off Cho of each chocolate other. Chocolate and orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah they play off of each other. Combo? Yeah, yeah cool. it was delicious. Oh, wow. So refreshing. Mm. Yeah, it was nice. Go try. Yeah. Yeah. Some people might think because I sell tea and then they'll come here and they'll say, oh, sorry, coffee. <laughs> 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 I say, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I normally tell people I don't drink a lot of coffee either because you're drinking this caffeine. Yeah, my all day. my blood <laughs> can hold too much more caffeine. Right, right. <laughs> so you have a I, lot of tea with some blood in you. Yeah. Yeah. I probably drink. I probably at least drink three pots of tea a day. Right. Of course. That morning, and then we come here and we practice one pot of tea. And then after lunch, kind of just in a cup and just kind of cleansing kind sure, of a tea. Sure. And then in the afternoon, it's like, oh, I need another practice or mm. another pick me up pot of tea. And so there's, there's yeah. four, four different yeah. teas a day. Yeah. All right, let's chase. <laughs> let's, uh, let's chase the fragrance. Sorry, talk too much. He was like, when are you chasing? It's already gone. <laughs> The dragon is gone. <laughs> Sometimes it can be that though. Yeah. Yeah, because today will be uh, uh, my mistake if it's gone. Because the in between brewing, it got too long. And so the heat, uh -huh, right. the Le heat left, in the cup. Left. Yeah. Can, yeah. But you never know. Sometimes tea is very, um, very friendly and very forgiven. Mm -hmm. And it'll be like, I like you guys today. I'm gonna show up no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if the tea like us today. And I have a feeling like he said, you guys are not too bad. <laughs> well, it seemed generous. Yeah. That third, oh, totally. that yeah. third pour was, yes. was super generous. It didn't yeah. feel dissipated. It just felt like kind of changed yeah like a little opened yeah. up again yeah like, like oh and here's another of a brewing. yeah it's kind of in the sense of how when you open up a bottle of well especially like a red wine more than a white though i guess i should think about how whites change in flavor as they are open because they're it's aromatic it's you know aerating mm -hmm. both both red and whites aerate mm -hmm. and it does i you know it changes the wine mm-hmm by letting it sit out, obviously. And yeah. Okay, so this is kind of similar in that by opening it up each time, each you're, time. you're opening it up more. Yeah. So it's a different way of aerating. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. And tea, tea will experience, since you can, it, you, after you open a bottle of wine, you can't keep it too long, but tea, you can you can keep a bag of tea for for a while. Of course. And then yeah. there will be a different style of opening. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's special about tea. I mean, wine so, you can have open maybe a couple of days. Yeah. Um, maybe three or four in the fridge. But sometimes I'll open a bottle of red wine and I'll taste it. And I don't drink much red wine anymore. And I'll taste it. I'm like, mm. And then I'll just let it sit and get, drink it the next day. And mm. they're like, oh, okay, there it is. I just needed to relax. Let's see if the shell is coming back. <laughs> the fragrance. The scent Oops, of sorry. the tea. brighter again with that new mm -hmm. with the fresh leaves the, a little bit huh yeah just to add the layer mm -hmm. and the scent back in the tea again mm. 
And I even feel the scent is the, the feeling of the scent is not just the scent is changing, the feeling of the scent is changing. Mm. I think we can try one more. One more? Yeah, mm. one more. This one is like, ooh. I'll show you a little bit, but <laughs> you have to push it. Yeah. It's almost kind of. By mixing the two, it's like it has even more flavor. Yeah, like, and I think a a, a slight a different personality show. Yeah. I would say the first three, no matter how much it's changing, mm -hmm. it overall gave me a feeling of delicate, mm -hmm. smooth, right, open, mm -hmm. round, like uh, forest, nice, wonderful feeling. And this one is that. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> When you mix us when you yeah. mix a, a newcomer with one that's been around for three pours. <laughs> yeah, this OT was telling us, remember when I was young, you know. Yeah. And so, yeah. Now I'm middle aged and a bit grumpy. Let me show you <laughs> how sweet I was. But then you get that. Oh. A good clash. This is a really pretty tea. Yeah. Yeah, really open. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this so, one is full of information. This tea, lots of information. So. That's me. <laughs> full of information. <laughs> Nobody needs to know the information, but you're full of it. No, no, no. I, 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 I chose this tea and I think it will present you. And first of all, it really is the tea I think is you and me connect. Because mm -hmm. I remember you really like Bao Zhong. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, what is the best to treat an old friend? Mm. His or her favorite tea. Second, of course. I was like, how do we do this one today? You know, and sometimes I, I let guests um, choose the tea. And so far, most of the guests don't want to choose. The tea, so I choose, and I thought, well, mm. seriously, the way I I see you is, you are reserved and very soft. He has a he has a soft quality, really important, a lot of depth. And, and I'm not just like we're doing a yeah. show, so I'm like try to like right. boss you up or like. Right, 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 and right, stuff. Right. As Noah, when mm. we were talking about you guys, what do I talk about, Louis? Mm. He's that. Uh, He's a very deep fellow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I always feel. I'm like shallow. <laughs> 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 no, well, the the analogy was, I am the lake and he's the jet the ski on the. the <laughs> that was That's good. our relationship. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. No, I just it, you you obviously read a lot, and and your comment of English surprised me when I first met you. Yeah. Mine is more like locally grown. <laughs> <laughs> Not well. He's tended. very eloquent. Yeah, very eloquent, and the, you say really beautiful words, and you yeah. love art. You 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 watch opera. You know, theater and that kind of stuff. It just feel like a lot of a lot of depth about yeah, him. He's got a lot of depth. Yeah, I like information. I have depth too. Most people, <laughs> I think, a lot of people just think that I'm fun, but then I'm I'm deeper than that. Of yeah. Course. Oh, totally. You just look at my later, heart, and you know that later, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> later, we'll we'll choose see if I chose the right tea for you. Oh, yeah. oh. I like that. And there's 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 strength in the tea, and there's there's uh, strength about you. Mm, yeah. You sometimes maybe show us a very soft person, but I can see there is a lot of strength. About of course, di shui chuan shi. You know. Would you please translate? Di like, <laughs> shui chuan shi. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like what? <laughs> I'll sabotage you slowly. <laughs> 
you know. Uh, water, water, slow drip of water can pierce through a rock, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's him. But take a long time. <laughs> yeah. When are you gonna <laughs> die? Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> you know. <laughs> There you go. That's very good. People are not gonna die. They are slowly drip you until you die. <laughs> <laughs> not efficient. Yeah, you're pa- you you'll pay. You're like the spider that'll just patiently sit in the web waiting for that bug to show up. <laughs> and I'm the one that would be keep changing the the way the spider web looks each time. Like, oh, I'm not catching them. Maybe I'll string it up over here. <laughs> That's more my personality. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a good analogy, right? Yeah, oh, totally, right, totally. Right, right, right. Maybe the, maybe you know, I'm not I'm putting them too cl- too far apart. I'm not getting the little bugs. Mm-hmm. Totally, not to get it. Mm-hmm. I'm not dripping the water. Damn it. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh. And there's still, I feel like there's still some yeah. strength. How much? Add, add how many? How many? How many brews? How no many? leaves. Extra the fresh leaves. Did you add to it? Like a like no two idea. to one, three to one, four. Oh, to just one. a little bit. Yeah, I four, actually four to a one. few. Yeah, just a few little sprinkling. I, I, I didn't have enough space to uh, mm. shove it in, so oh, I just yeah. add a little bit. Mm. So when you brew yeah, tea, this could go like probably yeah. three or four more times. Yeah, I think. So when you brew tea at home, <laughs> you can play with that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. When I first uh, uh, encounter <laughs> this method, I was like, that's. Fun. Yeah, and then the teacher simply tell you, "Who told you you cannot do that?" Mm. I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> mm. Yeah, I guess this is the first time I've seen yeah. you or or anybody do that. Mm-hmm. Ada. Yeah, uh, we we uh we watch a uh, we watch a t- a brain teacher uh-huh. uh, doing that. You are gonna love him. If sometime we are we are in Taiwan together. Will book an appointment okay. oh. to to brew tea uh, to drink his tea, brewing. That guy cool. is is crazy. <laughs> it's big personality. I love him. He's charming. Mm. Uh, love to talk and just big person and mm. and uh, not shy at all. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. like he was like Miss Tai, do you bring your own tea? So, yeah. oh, <laughs> let me look for it. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> I have some tea in my backpack, and he's like. Do you know why I want I, I want to brew your tea? He said, no. Hmm. I thought we are drinking something else. He said, I want to show you how much better I can brew your own tea. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wow, what a <laughs> jerk. <laughs> In my mouth, I was like, wow, what a. What a... And then he brewed it, I was like, Wow, <laughs> that's awesome! I just keep talking, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm the tea brew master. He's a tea brew. He's, he's a tea brew master. Yeah. yeah, he's like creating a show and a magic mm-hmm. to people. Crazy, and I think the 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 best comment from that session is I actually brought a friend, and and uh. I was not sure how his experience would be. Is that like, this is just like nonsense or like really good? Because he have to pay for it. Right. And 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 after the session, I said, "Hey, Chris, is is this okay?" And he said, "I feel like I just drank tea for the really, really drank tea for the first time in ah. my life." I was like, "Yes." <laughs> but anyway, so wait, yeah. the Chris, the Chris from here, or another Chris? Which decrease are you talking about? He, person? He, mm, <laughs> we met during the first couple times when I came to your shop. Maybe. Does he have a... I think is that his girlfriend or his wife was there at the same time? A couple. They were a couple. Anyway. In the old shop? Here. You guys came for a session. You guys came for a session together, and they recorded it. Uh-huh. Remember? Oh yeah. yeah, there's some images of you guys together. Yes, when, that, that Chris. Was that yeah, Chris. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tai yeah. Chi Chris. We call him Tai Chi Chris. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, he Tai Chi. Tai Chi Chris. Oh, Tai Chi. Tai Chi Chris. Tai Chi Chris. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Crabby. Fast. He's so touchy. Should I continue with the guy one or part? Hmm. Shui bear. Oh, you transfer it. 
the tea? Transfer to the next tea. Oh, next tea. Okay. The next tea is for you. Oh, okay. Mm. Is it Chris in June? I yes. Think? Ah, oh. yes, yes, yes. That Chris. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, they they were fine. They were if fine. If I saw an image, then I would know. Yeah, I remember we had we all had tea there's drunk a few, that there's day. A, yeah, there's yeah. a. Well, there's been several fun sessions here. Yeah, oh. <laughs> that I can remember. Yeah, he's but fun. they kind of blur together. Yes. Yeah, totally. <laughs> all the, Especially all the there's characters. like two to three years of gap in between. Yeah, it, yeah. It's gonna blur. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I just blur together. Mm. I sometimes think of something. I say, "Oh, wow, that's." Interesting. Hmm. Did it really happen, or did I dream about that? I actually couldn't recall <laughs> yeah, some, yeah. some of I the things I thought about. <laughs> Time is linear until it becomes the past. Everything is jumbled. Jumble. Like. Pancaked. <laughs> yeah. Pancaked yeah. together. Well, some things definitely remain the past. Others are. I think more they can morph and feel more present, and then other things are are like in the past, like put to bed, done, mm. and then maybe and some know, forgotten, and then buried. others, yeah, mm. other things still stay around. Mm. Totally. Maybe just that you smell the scent. I yes. I'm normally not very into scent. I mean, I, I mm -hmm. love the scent of any teas, but I'm not like super crazy over it. And mm -hmm. this farmer's tea, I can just sit there and smell his tea like over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. So here you go. Please. Pie's hot. There was like different. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. It like keeps coming yeah, up. Yeah, different it, kinds yeah. of aromas in yeah. there. Yeah. And later, let's use the when we use the fragrance cup. It's really wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Fruity. Mm. There's mm. a fruity quality. Yes. To it too. Mm. So you are very fruity. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would call that a little bit of a fruity quality. For me, it is fruity too. Yeah. 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 Though I can't say that it nutty. smells like any kind of fruit. Well, it's toasty. There's definitely the toasty part. Slightly party. nutty. It is a little bit toasted. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel, I don't. I didn't get anything nutty about it, but definitely toasted. And Actually, the first tea was toasted too, but yeah. you can feel, can you feel it? Uh, not, really. not really. It was it was in the smell, the smell, like the first smell you could oh, sense the, the surface, yeah. It was roasted aroma. in May 2021. Wow. Well, it is a really light, a really light fire. Uh -huh. So like when they do the charcoal roasting, it starts off really strong. And that's actually when they put on this tea. Uh -huh. And then 10 days later, when the fire is almost dead, that's when they put on the first tea. Got it. Oh. So the opposite ends of the spectrum in terms of how hot the fire is interesting yeah. you can really smell it on this one but it's also not a super roasted tea yeah maybe short time then huh yeah short time uh, huh. relatively short yeah yeah because yeah. i mean you can put a strong fire for a long time too to get that'd be more like dongding yeah mm -hmm. you do a really big fire like three or four times this mm. one just one time that's it yeah mm. huh he noah can help himself when there's anything roasted information you can look Roasting! <laughs> <laughs> Gets him excited. Yeah, yeah. Because all those bags that you see behind you, uh -huh. for him to roast. Ah, <laughs> so this is his, that's where he gets to play with fire. Yes. So to speak. <laughs> mm. 
Well, and you're, you know, you kind of, when you're doing the roasting, it's kind of the, you know, you're pulling out new flavors and things like that. So it's new feeling, new flavor. Yeah. Uh, creativity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like cooking. Yeah, well, totally. Right? You I was play with the fire yeah, and exactly. then you, you create something. That, oh, wow, this is very yummy. And next time it's like, oh, I'm going to cook it in a different way. And it's also very yummy. <laughs> yeah. Once you get to that point, yeah. you know, like a, any, you know, a good chef. I mean, certain foods, you know, I can adjust mm -hmm. to what I, how I want it to taste, mm. you know, and I'm, I can do that. Yeah. So tea roasting is almost like a good cooking. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. Like, you know, it'd be, be one... super important. I mean, you got to toast it right, otherwise. Yeah, you can destroy it. Yeah, yeah, just like cooking too. <laughs> yeah. See the color is mm. gorgeous. Steve. Yeah, it's really Different. amber. <laughs> it's amber, exactly amber, scotch, mm. like the color of bourbon. bourbon. No, not bourbon. <laughs> oh, I never drink bourbon, so I don't know. I thought scotch is uh, darker than this, or am I wrong? I guess it doesn't look like scotch. See whiskey. No, I'm in color. But you see, you can't help it, right? Look at Louis. He's like... I know, this room is too wide, you know. <laughs> He's like, he couldn't stop smelling mm. that cup. And just like... <sighs> Beautiful. Honey. Citrus. Mm. Mm, so fruity. Yeah, very citrusy. Mm. Mm. Big. Yeah. Juicy. Juicy. <laughs> this is a very juicy tea. Mm. Big tea. In your face. <laughs> you know. I, I, there's no icebreaker. Get to know you and now <laughs> it's all mm. there. It got layers though. Mm. The, 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 whatever the flavor you are tasting, even the yeah. liquid, I feel like there's a lot of layers on mm -hmm. the liquid. Um, just like yeah. it's come, it keep coming in like waves, like the yeah. flavor and the, the, the liquid feels like it's layering and just like keep coming at you like a wave. And it's a much lighter and the, on the pal, I mean, the, he the weight of the tea is far lighter than the previous tea. The other was more like like oily like you said this one is less oh. so it's it's more like a lighter but it keeps giving you all this information but it's on a lighter tech it's like lighter on your tongue oh that's very interesting yeah. perception yeah because mm -hmm. i'm not saying anybody's right or wrong mm -hmm. uh i it doesn't I, feel the other one felt like more coating yeah satiny. Co yeah very L like oh fed oily yeah mm -hmm. like the oily or like you know satiny vel not velvety but like, mm. like yeah just kind of coats your mouth yeah mm. and this one you know coats it with flavor mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. than with the texture i feel mm. yeah like it's a different because it's just lighter yeah but i think it's also because uh for me personally because of the color presentation and the flavor pre presentation uh i i personally feel like the first tea is actually a lighter tea but i know where you are getting it it's mm -hmm. really it, like it coats yeah. the mm -hmm. whole thing yeah. this one feels like more yeah more like if i if i call it as a weight mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's it's heavier weight actually on mm -hmm. the tongue but it doesn't it doesn't 
caught as much. Right. There's some some presence of the mm-hmm. side, like the salivation. Yeah, well, it goes over there because it's tangy. There's yeah. a tangy quality yes. to it. Yes. Yes. And it made me think of like like almost like peaches, mm. <laughs> like a tangy peach bl- taste going on. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So it's or even almost plum. Yeah. So very right, interesting that we, we 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 perceive like mm-hmm. light and heavy as not a, in gravitational terms. That's right. Mm. Right. It's on the uh, prevalence term. Well, this is a stronger, <laughs> has more assertive flavors <laughs> for sure. But the body of it is lighter. Yeah. But the first one, the weight of permeates it, I, to every corner and stays a little bit longer. Right. This one has a more straightforward agenda. I want to impress you and and then go to your stomach very quickly. <laughs> but, but then, the, but then this pour is going to go like, you want to know me? I will show you. And this, the second pour will just go. Oh, Whoa. he can predict, huh? Let's see the second pour. Yeah. That's very good. You got to, yes. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's why I love to drink tea with you guys. But you can feel the tea goes into your stomach, like right away. Um, relatively, the first one lingers a little bit longer up here. Totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's still on my tongue and on the sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then this one is just—it's just less shy. It's just like. <laughs> well, the other one wasn't shy. It was pretty. It's pretty. It's very. It's pretty. It's very... This isn't pretty. <laughs> this one is just straight. This forward. is delightful. <laughs> this is a delightful tea. Do you know how we name this tea? What we name this tea? What? Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow. What? Well, <laughs> you picked after him. So this is it. A... We call it Laughing Buddha. Laughing Buddha. Ah. Perfect. <laughs> There is a different. It's it's seriously for me. It's like sometimes I feel like when I drink this tea, I feel like a little bit crazy. I want to laugh, and the first tea is not that like it's a sad tea or anything. No, it feels very quietly open and joyful. I sit mm-hmm. there quietly and look at the mm-hmm. look at yeah. the view, mm-hmm. yeah. and just just sit there. And this one is just like you kind of want to jump around. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, okay. it's definitely. <laughs> Uh, another. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> uh, this would be like, okay. Now what? <laughs> what should I do now? That's what this tea is like. Oh, that's. <laughs> Where actually, if I was gonna, you know, sit hurry, down to hurry, my computer, smell, smell, <laughs> I would prefer the tea before this if I was going to like sit down and like okay I'm going to focus this would be more like mm. so get, get some distance into it mm. if you if if you put it almost to the chin area good tea will go up and you can see the, the texture and the structure. Mm, that's really pretty now. Mm. Mm. Wee! That's a zingy tea. Big tea for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm. A lot of that citrus fruit and the fruit skin. Wow! <laughs> <It's all All right. laughs> Isn't it laughing, Buddha? Yeah, it's zippy. Mm. Big mm. and the side and mm. chewy. <laughs> Fruity yeah. and chewy. This is, would be good with some sweets. Because mm. it would be a great opposite. Not yeah. like chocolate. Mm. Not like a chocolatey thing, but like 
Like a light Mooncake light. <laughs> <laughs> Mooncake is also on the heavy side though Mooncake should go with the light Lighter Tea Maybe people don't agree with me But I don't almost, even know Yeah I almost <laughs> feel like Like an ice cream or something Would be good Ice with cream? This, with this tea I should try so it would be a, like the creaminess this, versus this is not creamy. Use this liquid to make ice cream. Mm. I always had that fantasy when yeah. I had my ice cream maker mm. to do an ice cream out of some kind of Chinese tea because it would be really good. Yeah. Actually, this would be a really good one mm -hmm. to make a tea mm -hmm. ice so cream. When I was describing <laughs> this tea online, sorry. I was <laughs> no describing problem. this tea on the website. Welcome. I called it, thank you, blood orange Sherbert. Oh, yeah. uh, you can make some kind of sherbet type of ice cream with with this tea. I think it would be mm. like call it the fruity kind mm -hmm. of notes. Because yeah, it, you could right, mix it with a fruit. Too. It's not I... super sweet, but it has a lot of sweet notes. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Notes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, she asked me what tea makes you think of Timothy, and she already had a tea in mind. And we both said this tea mm. also made me think of. Uh, the painting that you showed me last time I was at your place because mm -hmm. it's such a colorful it's a color tea. big color mm -hmm. there's it's a huge amount of color in this tea to me mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's bright yeah yeah right it's bright it's, it's yeah. orange yeah yeah and, 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 and for me it's it's not that I I, I think of you as a I, when I pick this tea it is a big tea you are a, you have a big personality and you are colorful. Oh, wait for that to go. <laughs> <laughs> you are colorful. But yet underneath there, it's not just, it's like, it's like empty. Just like, oh, it's orange and it's, it's, it's whatever, you know. It's this, that when you really feel it, then it, it, it does enter the body. Then also, I think, Behind, I mean, when I look at your painting, it is colorful, but it's not those like colorful, pretty. Right. You know, it's actually kind of painful to to look at sometimes, and and make it make me as an observer to think that why do you choose first of all to use all those colors that's so bold, and then to choose those subjects that that that. I always say, even to him, I said, to Noah, I said, I say, look at Timothy's painting. Regular people are not going to buy his big painting and say, <laughs> I'm going to put it in the living room right. for all the guests to, to, uh, to, uh, to look at and have a good time. It's, it's very raw. Your painting is very raw. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff and there's a there's a there's a there's discomfort mm. yeah. in, in yeah. your painting. Yes. But at the same time somehow it's so bright. Yeah, but it's not like dark and, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Either, it's not right? just like look at it, it's just like, oh no, it's but dark, I, I, it's dark, you know. You know, I you know, I I don't <laughs> I I mean I I, I wanna I like to dig down dig deep down in there and pull out this stuff yeah because it's there you know all that mm -hmm. death and torture and <laughs> all that you know it's there yeah yeah you totally, know yeah it's true, there true. and um, yeah and also kind of the analogy of of you know the beautiful flower you know that attracts the bug and then the flower eats it <laughs> you know oh, venus fly trap you know <laughs> That yin and yang, also like what what's the what's how far can you go before something isn't pretty anymore? Mm -hmm. You know, where's the borders between beauty mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. decay? Mm -hmm. You know, those borders, those are interesting to me. Mm -hmm. You know, and so things that are just like nice doesn't go anywhere. It's like I'd rather go see something really awful that's so awful you can't look away yeah. than seeing something that's just like a pretty painting of a mountain mm -hmm. which doesn't do anything mm -hmm. it's just a stagnant thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know so mm -hmm. to me that's those edges of what yeah. we perceive as beauty mm -hmm. is, is and also too i feel like 
there's as an observation that there's violence and depth like this in movies and we don't really give much thought to the fact that it that we go see that we just gobble it up but then if there's an actual painting that shows violence there's something wrong with that paint you know people mm-hmm. are more repelled by that but yet they can go watch you know the matrix or Not some matrix, other thing. Uh, horror films horror films yeah, yeah. I mean, they can watch that and so mm-hmm. but then then there's also the beauty of a really beautiful horror film that's like right. creepy and beautiful suspiria you know? like suspiria or something. <laughs> you know right. so i'm really to me i'm attracted to right. true to some of that stuff Last and i don't month. want to filter my ideas if it comes through i was like I'll just put it, let's see where you go. Last mm-hmm. month, we went to see Studio E in mm-hmm. Georgetown. The most interesting gallery here. Mm. There was a painting I really love, a hyper-realistic painting, mm. still life, but it's a kitchen knife, the fish knife. Ooh. Yes. But the knife, just sitting on the counter, right? It was so sublime, because it just looked so fucking sharp. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the knife wow. just looked so real. You and you sense away. the danger yeah. and the beauty at the same time. Mm. And that makes yeah. it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And so this tea <laughs> has a danger to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am not sure if the tea has any danger to it. Or, um... But it has like a side of almost aggression push it really hard it is an aggression yeah mm. well it's aggressive tea it's like it's not gonna do, you don't just get to sip it yeah and you go oh this is nice yeah exactly yeah it's like it's zipping all it's over it's not the place. patience right you know, it's more like either or you know take it or leave it <laughs> <laughs> well yeah i mean in a way it kind of has that well i'm not gonna i don't know that wasn't really we're losing it. We're losing it. Yeah. So in a way, I in uh, maybe I should talk about why I chose uh, these teas for you guys. I mean, if I want to just choose a like they say delicate, pretty tea and a big bowl tea for you. Not exactly. It also yeah. Lost yeah. the point. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and I, I would say with a lot of confidence, both of the both of the tea that is a there's that good quality that you can see very obviously like the delicate beauty and yep. the big yep. ball yep. colorful yep. 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 whatever but underneath there there's a lot mm-hmm. of depth and that's how i that's how I, that's how i see you both mm. and oh, the depth lovely. is different lovely yeah. you know? well we see that in you <laughs> thank you <laughs> and you too no as we get to know you more but I mean, that's what makes people interesting. That's if you don't right. have any depth, it's like, oh, God, they don't talk, they don't do anything. Like, bye. <laughs> you know, if they're not emotionally available. Mm. And to me, when people aren't emotionally available, it's really hard to, to be present with people that aren't emotionally available. Mm. And I like to be emotionally present. It takes more energy to do that. You might get more drained from doing it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm not always wanting to be social because it's like, oh, okay. And definitely party things like that. That's like, it's like a lot of extraneous energy versus, mm. you know, you two come for dinner and then we talk and we laugh and it's yeah. all. And then connected. we watch Spider-Man. <laughs> right. and then we watch Spider-Man. <laughs> To make somebody happy. Right, right. Set the alarm on fire. To make someone happy. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. But yeah, these teas are... And also these teas are so wonderfully yin and yang of each other. Mm. They're like two different spectrums. Where maybe more often when we do tea tasting, we kind of like start here and then we go here and then and we then go, go here. Yeah, true. And here maybe. Yeah. And so it's like like a like a smoother arc. And this was like boom, boom. this... <laughs> this <laughs> which i think describes lewis and i but yet these two are actually really good opposites together like they're a great pairing to have one and then have the other yeah because both are great they're both great and, and they're both, both are great yan, and yeah. the, they're both opposites and in, in truly opposite ways mm-hmm. like you know like the lighter quality of the tea that i perceived and yeah the, and the, the, the more the speaker, satiny yeah. filling the brighter mm-hmm. in your face versus the contemplativeness of mm-hmm. the other tea. True, true. 
Now, this tea, you don't get to w wonder what the flavors are. They just are there. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. the other one, you can kind of go, hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. This is like, hello. Bye. Big, right? <laughs> Big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Was that the third pour? Four. Mm. Or fourth? I, have I feel like the second idea. one was the biggest. The big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one started to maybe wane a pinch. Maybe yeah. should we dress on a little bit? Yeah. Chase Let's it. Chase. Let's chase the dragon yeah. a bit. And see. It lost its uh, tangy quality, this this one. And see how it might be. Did you think? Though it made my ears hot. Your... As the caffeine's taking effect, my ears are starting to get warm. Mm. <laughs> Good. One thing I did want to talk to you about while you're here, something I've been thinking about. While I'm here. While you're here, <laughs> not while you're gone. <laughs> uh, especially the direction that your art goes. I think a lot about in in uh, more East Asian art appreciation, there's more of a focus on things that are beautiful not necessarily purely just pretty and and blase but right but definitely there's not as much focus on things that are aggressively like ugly to the point of being uh -huh. beautiful or something right. like that but having so much interface with with both eastern and western i thought we could talk about both of you could talk a little bit about why like why why is there uh in the West, this kind of interest in, in the more ugly and why in the East? And, and is there a... You know, I actually, I think that um, for me, because I've, I actively, I'm not just an artist. I also actively look at art mm. constantly. I mean, I'm like looking at art all the time and mm. we've gone to contemporary galleries all throughout, you know, Hong Kong and, and, and Taiwan and all that. And so in a contemporary format, Actually, you're wrong. Totally. In contemporary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In a yeah. contemporary, you're actually yeah. wrong. And when we go there, there's actually far more stretches, uh -huh. at least compared to Seattle, there's far more stretches to what beauty is and isn't huh. and, and theater of cruelty and all of that and uh -huh. much more deeper explorations of, of the violence In within the you, so to down. speak, yeah. you know, yeah. that's it's much okay, more right? yeah, okay. present mm. in contemporary art especially out of like Taipei a lot, mm -hmm. Japan a lot. And so... Um, the reason I talk about it is, especially with tea, it's more of a traditional art form. Mm -hmm. And there is an aspect of trying to create something beautiful. But if you don't have the presence mm -hmm. to be able to see the things that are underneath that are right. not as beautiful, then right. there's no way to pull out the beauty in a real way. Exactly. Right? So exactly. there's something that Dalai Lama said about this topic that I really liked. He said, he didn't really understand the question, but he said that art is uh, taking something really deep inside of you and transforming it. Otherwise, it's not art. Right. Mm. The Eastern, traditional Eastern art specifically, it is that in a way, but it's not expressed in a more obscene way. Or vulgar kind of way, right, right, Whereas right. with modern contemporary art, not right. say Western yeah, contemporary, yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's more of the personal, I think, too. Mm. You know, um, is that you know, ancient art and all that. That was for community. It was for spirits. It was for necessity. Mm. You know, mapping even. So a lot of what they think of the cave paint paintings, and especially like the hand ones that are like thousands and thousands you know fifty thousand years old mm -hmm. is that they were probably um like i was here <laughs> so really kind of a graffiti well, in a sense like i was here you know and mapping and so mm -hmm. what we thought is beautiful designs is is can also be is a form of mapping as well mm -hmm. you know so there's a there's so many different aspects of of what art was now today it seems to me i feel like art is like a poem it's a it's a wordless poem you know, it's a novel, mm. you know, so it, it you know, it, it doesn't have like 300 pages, but you can look at it every day and it have something new and powerful to you. Mm. Or a question. So, or a question. Mm. You know, it's not an answer. Mm. It's a question. Um, and it's an experiment. That's to me where I like to think of it at, 
you know, and it's like I tell my students, like, you know, this, you're creating a problem nobody needs to solve but you. You're, you're creating your own language. This is your form, you know, and mm-hmm. so you know, you know, you're, that's what you do. <laughs> and I think that's the most interesting and challenging thing about mo- what's exciting about modern art and so much or contemporary art rather mm-hmm. is that, you know, even for me, I don't, I'll look at art and maybe never understand it, you know, mm-hmm. um, and kind of go, well, I don't know what, what I'm, and then, so with that, I think there is a lot more um, in the, in the more, the big picture of the, the contemporary art world there is more of a conquest for what could be ugly and what is beauty and all those boundaries and it Mm. doesn't necessarily art doesn't necessarily need to be pretty Mm. because it's a thought Mm. (laughs) it's a feeling true right so do do you feel like that's what you are when you chose those uh images and the, the the subjects uh to be in your painting do you feel like it's that what you want to, in a way, what you want to express is that you got to look at like the reality in a way, the 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 ugly part of the human or the society, what is happening, to to be able to actually see real beauty. Maybe something like that. I mean, I feel like I, you know, I just things come in, they distill, and then they kind of sneak, they start coming out, and when they start coming out, I start, I don't know. I don't think of it as like li- it's not like a literal mm-hmm. like I want to I want to express this. I mean, there are political artists that oh, yeah. you know, politically ex- that's what they're, it's a, it's very explicit what they're trying to tell you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then there is me, which I'm not, and so sometimes maybe that is hard for people to, to understand my art because I'm not telling you something very direct. Nah. You know, it's a, it's my own personal <laughs> yeah. thing that I'm I'm doing here and I don't mm-hmm. even know what the answers are. Mm-hmm. And so I tell my students this like when they're creating a painting, it's like it's you're digging. You're 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 mining for something. Mm-hmm. You're trying to figure out what's in there. What mm-hmm. is it what is it that I'm trying to do? Mm-hmm. And that's what it feels like when I when I work on a painting. You know, I maybe start with some kind of small thing, um, an idea, but as I start building it's like what is this really? What is this really trying to tell me? So for students who don't like to see underneath, they just want to draw a beautiful butterfly forever. And then you have those students and then you have ones. But mm. I, I mean, they all try it, you know, but it's really exciting when I get a student that mm. went really went there and you went, oh, that's really good and spooky. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> you did it. You did it. You took, you took yeah. the, you, you went to the edge, you yeah. know. You took some risks, yeah. You know, and you didn't make yourself pretty with the, you know, blonde hair and a smiley face. You know, you, <laughs> you painted yourself purple with, you know, green eyes and black lips. <laughs> no offense to blonde hair and smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To me, that's what you know. When when I think about as a person, that's what charges me. That kind of, and even to, to I think most art is needs to affect me in that way like mm. it's rare that i go see like a a comedy unless it's like mm. scary like a john waters where it's like mm. the tragedy is hysterical you know it's like that's much more appealing to me because it's got depth that makes you you know go you're gasping in horror and laughing at the same time you know mm. and laughter is complicated one of my favorite comedies is fight club fight Fight, what, sorry, fight club? Yeah. Like people are fighting? Yes, fight club, yeah, you know. Have you seen it? You haven't seen it. Mm. David Fincher directed with Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. On the surface, it's about them fighting, but there are just, and there's just so many disturbing layers about the society, but then it package itself as a comedy, but it's so, mm. like John Waters, yeah. which is, yeah, anyway. Hmm. No, no, no. That's that's great. Because sometimes when I look at, look at, you know, what I'm doing here, T. In a way, if you want to say, it, then T. Brewing is is in a way for me to show people the final product, and it's it's, you know, I will do my best to present it as 
beautiful as possible <laughs> yeah. within this chaotic environment yeah. that I might call my shop. <laughs> yeah. Well, the beauty comes in your passion. <laughs> yeah. And that's what comes through. You know, your passion, that makes this yeah. an art, you know, your, the art of serving. If tea. this place looks like an Ikea showroom, <laughs> that's not going to fly, even though it looks... Pretty, yeah. you know, clean. And out of chaos comes the beauty too, right? <laughs> like going to that tea shop in in Taipei, where the woman in, in that where is shop, the woman? Where she's it's like to me that was beautiful, yeah. right? Or you know Taipei or in Taiwan, there's always that always that notion of the wabe sabe, right? Yeah. Which is like mess messiness coming together to look interesting. That's val, you know. That's that's it. You know, I love that. But at the same time, you know, when you feel the power of like a really minimalist piece of artwork, you feel the power of what the artist put into it. So I always feel like art is is kind of like these 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 temples of of energy that they you get energy from it. If you're not getting energy from it, then mm. it's either you're not it's not the energy you want or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I feel like, you know, when you go into art galleries and it's all quiet and stuff, and I think it's appropriate because you're you just like get the energy from the art, mm -hmm. you know, it's like that meditative mm -hmm. purpose to, to let the art come into you. Yeah, somehow yeah. when we approach a gallery within the second, we were like, we can't go in there, you know, because it's so bad. <laughs> oh, because the art doesn't look like anything. It doesn't um. talk to me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, it I mean, told in the us. end, beauty is an eye of the beholder for sure. sure. But I also think that exposure, just like tea, right? Mm -hmm. The just more like you, dr yeah. well, the more you drink the tea, like the more you learn and drink about wine, the more you're going to yeah. know and appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Right? If you appreciate a good tea, and then a bad tea, you may spit it up. Exactly. <laughs> you drink all this, and suddenly you brew you know? Lipton tea bag, and you just want to leave, right? Oh, like the brewing teacher said, he will make you cry with Lipton tea. Oh. In a nice way. <laughs> Did he serve you Lipton tea? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not sure if he was just yeah. bullshitting me. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's all, it's a passion, you know. Then there's also the idea that the artwork is really just the residue of the process, the creative process, mm -hmm. too, which... You know, the, if you could even acquire, apply that to tea and that the, the farmer brewing the tea, you toasting it, the preparation for it, and then mm. there's the tea. Yeah. yeah. And the tea is the result of all that others. Like the reflection. Yeah, it's the reflection. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. So that's, I like that even better than, than the, the, the remnant of the, it's really the mm. reflection of the creative process. Mm -hmm. And so when people are like, I don't get it, they look at a piece of, you know, a painting that's like, a blue can. I don't get it. It's like, well, if you learned about that artist, you may understand that. Oh, well, guess what? He made that blue pigment by farming, you know, scavenging seashells off the shore mm -hmm. and making his own indigo and rubbing into the thing. Mm -hmm. And there's all these different blues in there, but you can hardly tell mm -hmm. because that was his that was his thing because he was interested. So, you know, I mean, it's always the process, mm -hmm. you know. And if, if you've skipped the process, then you're going to always have a shitty piece of art or a really mm. shitty cup of tea. Mm. True, 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 true. <laughs> right? I it's see, the process. Actually, the thing is, it, with tea, and I, I bet, you know, when you, when you even just to prep yourself to be in the mall to paint. Oh, yes. That's a big process. It's a huge process. But the thing is, sometimes I feel it's, it's, it's very, in a way, a little bit painful for myself to, like, because I ask myself, what what am I what am I presenting? That's like that's like a, a, in a way a conflict part of 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 me doing this form of presentation. Mm. Part of me want to do it so well. It got to be well, because it's a it's a it's an art presentation. Yeah. Uh, one teacher say. Tea brewers is that in a in a, in a in in a music context we are performer. Of course. And performer have to perform to a way that the the audience like yeah. wow, 
yeah. you know and another teacher is uh is milder he said we have to keep creating the beauty it's almost like books being printed so it reached to more people music got into disc and so it also this form of beauty just reached to more and more people it's like you can recreate beauty you got to mm. let people see the beauty to be mm. inspired but sometimes it feels a little bit uh, i would say draining because mm. people see the end part of it right today did i move you or at least it's a good session i'll say you know yeah. and I'll, I'll i'll also maybe you have the same feeling that you 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 do a show and 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 people see the final results mm -hmm. of your painting and either they get it or not get it right. and it comes into that the some of the most brutal part of it is that how many do i sell <laughs> in this in, right do you think mm -hmm. about that you, you have two mm, right well of no? course <laughs> i you know of course i think about you know whether i'll sell pieces or not but i i also have to, i also already cushioned myself with the fact that <laughs> maybe no one would buy any and that's fine it doesn't matter you know so Man, each time I, something sells it's like oh goody <laughs> <laughs> you are performing. The tea is performing. Yeah. Well, yeah. I noticed and like... The... Go ahead. Oh, it's just like it's a time-boxed event. Of course, you are stressed out about thinking it, planning it, because every party ends, you know, there's a limited time. The show always ends, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So how do you yeah. make the attendee get the most out of it? How do you produce this show? at the same time honoring that tea well that you tea, do it yeah. in a very um well you've done this for so many years yeah, so no. it's, it's very <laughs> intuitive but i just loved how like i was noticing literally like mm -hmm. how you barely touch the glass when you pick it up you oh know? this yeah you i cannot barely yeah, touch cannot. it in the way you just kind of barely you know like this you're deliberate it's very deliberate what you do yeah i probably supposed to uh, use this piece so no. i don't touch it at all Right. No, that's okay. The way you did it was just so delicate. I just and like to use my hand. Yeah, yeah, that's to totally touch fine. Something it's totally rather fine. than yeah, that no. This kind. <laughs> I thought it was good. I mean, because and again, it's it's when I paint, I have to go. Okay, I'm a painter now. Here's my brush, and I'm gonna paint. Uh, so you do have to kind of don this. You are in that zone. You have to don. Yeah, to you have to get zone, into right? the zone. Yeah. of being that person mm. the painter mm. you know and the brush and painting and mm. you know mm. just like here you know it's like picking up the glass and doing this and the sprinkling of this and the ritual of it and all that is very important mm. Mm. and adds to the experience mm -hmm. so that nothing breaks you know? <laughs> and well yeah that too yeah so all those things are you can't slam a cup like yeah. this you know yeah. it's hard yeah <laughs> so, so any any i think that's you know that's what art is that's part of what art but is. in a way sometimes like since you guys are talking about you know like the old traditional art that the, the eastern ones are more like just to present the beauty uh -huh. the final work is to present the beauty mm -hmm. and then now the contemporary art is mm -hmm. to to dig into the discomfort and and stuff then sometimes in tea that i that i will even like even today you guys conversation let me think about can i <laughs> can i also present right. that yeah i think there's a discomfort in some teas for sure like uh, a, yeah, like a yeah. like a poor can have a certain discomfort to it like a dong ding <laughs> but, yeah. you know when when yeah. i look at the traditional watercolor for example you know, a scroll mm. with their simple strokes. What I would see, oh my God, they practice hundreds so of times yeah. to that get that little right thing. There. That's the pen. So, but yeah. the, the, in, the, in the end, it's like the, the, the mm -hmm. creation of the beauty. And then, and I'm not yeah. saying that I'm like those painters, I'm right. not even close to them. Like, I can imagine could, they are just like drawing that like I don't yeah. know how many that billion right. times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you know what I practice? Yeah. Boiling I, water. I, I practice this. Right. I'm not sure if you guys notice. Of I course use we do. Two yeah. different strings in two different teas. Mm -hmm. And 
Don't cry. Don't cry. I know you're getting emotional. Could you get a Kleenex for her? <laughs> I'm just trying to find the phrases. But we get it. We get it. Yeah. You know, like, but the thing is, is the final ad. Hopefully, people are seeing the beauty and inspired. But sometimes I just sit in here and say, "Damn it, <laughs> today mm. not right." <laughs> <laughs> no, totally. That's yeah. like you know, I I I have to know a certain point. I have to know whether I can draw a straight line that day, if that's what's going to be in the agenda of this painting, mm. you know. And usually I won't, if I, when I go into a painting session, I don't do anything like that until I'm at least a couple hours in where my hands relax enough. Oh, and I can wow. just do that line without pausing and having control that I'm not going to all of a sudden go, <laughs> <laughs> because I only get one chance to do it, yeah. you know. Oh, wm wow. So... Same thing when he so cuts. just like the 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 sumi brush, you know, yeah. the practicing, the practicing, that stroke, yeah. you know, that's. Yeah. I mean, my lines look good because mm. I've done it for sixty years, yeah. <laughs> fifty years. I've been yeah. drawing a line, you know, so I can do it. Uh, Same thing when he cuts my hair. I was like, was he in the zone? Is he is he doing or is he doing you know like properly? So. It's funny now because we've cut our hair, yeah, for so long now. Like Louis, like today's like, oh yeah, today I'm gonna I just... give a little quick little trim here. I yeah. don't like the way that looks. Come and come I said, on. I go, Louis, is it interesting now that how we've got this confidence that we just trim our hair whenever we want? Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. like that's so strange. Before yeah. you would just it's a new I skill. Get a haircut. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now. You Louis, yeah. can you just like trim me up? Trim yeah, my first year in New York. <laughs> it's really funny. When I landed in New York that first year, couldn't find a barber. Didn't you know? Too scared to find a barber because mm. you know I just lost my barber in Taiwan, and then I just tried not to get a haircut for six months until I just couldn't. I must go get a haircut. <laughs> six months. You must have had hair like this. Right. <laughs> and now it's just like I can fix it myself. Hmm. Here you go. That was a terrible, terrible experience. I went to Brooklyn to find the right barber. Not Brooklyn, know, right? Not knowing Brooklyn? washing is a price, cutting is a price, drying is a price. Of course, you know, like that's not the Taiwan way. That's <laughs> not right. Taiwan. Taiwan first gave you a twenty-five minute hair massage, you know, scalp massage, you know, all pr one price cover everything, right? But True. not here. If you wash yeah. hair, they will give you the yeah. wonderful. Yeah. I will say that this yes, is the tea. Let's come back to the tea. <laughs> I will say that the other tea was far more fragrant. Mm. I preferred the. This one is robust. Yeah, I don't. Per, the nose on this isn't as exciting as the taste. Mm. Yeah. Though I, I didn't. I like the toasted. His phone. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I have it on in case mom calls. But yeah, no problem. She's probably okay. calling, but I'm not going to. That's life. Mm. It's a. It's a. It's a. We try to present a, we create a session that what is really happening here. Right. So we're talking about yeah. hair cutting. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't finish. Anyway, <laughs> okay. I I was able to get my hair washed and trimmed, but I didn't have enough money to get it dried. Oh my god. So I had to ride the subway back from Brooklyn, way all the way back to Manhattan with wet hair. Yeah, so. <laughs> and we're just like, oh, it's okay, buddy. We'll dry your hair yeah. for you. <laughs> That's funny. Well, that's what you get for going clear to Brooklyn from the Upper West Side of Manhattan just to get a haircut. You probably passed about ten thousand barbers. Right. The thing is, away. I didn't know any of them, so I was just like, "What do I do? What do I do? Which one do I pick?" I just went to my little Salvadorian barber. <laughs> mm. Lovely. Thank you. Lovely. It's good, huh? Mm. Nice little tea high too. I can sense. Yeah. Little wee. You guys will have to come back again. I think so. Yes. I think so for sure. And then either you guys choose the tea for me, or I choose the tea present you both again. <laughs> sure. Well, you're the expert. Maybe we'll be poor next time. Hmm. Do you guys like poor? I do, but it's kind of like what we were talking about. The the you know what's what what kind of a tea experience could be similar to you know. The beauty and the and the, the ugly, <laughs> the beauty and the beast. I'm like, poor is definitely beauty and the beast. Because mm. oh, bitch the, queen. I have a cake. I call it the beach queen. 
Because I find tour to be that for sure. It's a yeah. push and pull. Like, not okay, my type of art. That's enough. Or... That's enough. Yeah. I like that, but just a little bit, you know. <laughs> huh. mm. Interesting. Well, it's like yeah. certain foods, you know. True, you want true. you want some of that that umami, but oh, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough. That's yeah. gonna, Popcorn, chicken, I won't no be able problem. To get it off my palate, <laughs> right? Moon cake, just. <laughs> I just need that much, you know. <laughs> My popcorn chicken. Well, thousand year egg, right? Like, a oh yeah, bit, a little bit. A little true, bit goes true, a long true, way, and true. that's like, okay, that's delicious. I don't want to make a meal out of it. Yeah. But yeah. Yes. Not bad. Yeah. Popcorn chicken, you can almost make a meal yeah. out of it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so definitely, you know, I think any any good thing can have that. Yeah. That balance, you know, coffee. You know, how bitter do you dark roast? You know, how 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 ristretto do you want your espresso? You know, right? How strong do you want your martini? True, you know, true. all those things. Sure. So I think I think it's kind of a. I think actually, it's it's a human um, trait to kind of push yourself to yeah. different extremities. You know. Because maybe you're not the person that goes to food extremities, but you might be willing to, you know, risk to your do. life to go to Mount Everest or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? True, like we true, all have true. our different extremities that we're willing to do. To push, right? To feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes the other things, yeah. yeah, is, uh, yeah. No, and and <laughs> really to pursue something with any kind of passion, you're going to have to have discomfort. Yes. Right? Like starting your own business. Yes. There's the dream of, oh, wouldn't it be cool to have my, my tea, tea business? House. But <laughs> guess what? That took about 20 years to yeah. get it off the ground, yeah. you know? Yeah. And there was really bad times, and there was a few good times. And, oh, now we're in good times again, but there could be a bad time bad around time the time. Bad time coming, right? Yeah. It's yeah. True, so, true. I mean... The yeah. land of the dream. When I got when I got here, I thought, "Oh, the bonus would be something like a house, you know, <laughs> what? Like, like a company's bonus would be, oh, you you are given a house." Yeah, you know, that was my idea of America. Where did you hear about that? I never heard about that. I just dreamt that. You know. <laughs> well, yeah, people it have didn't all happen. kinds of wild ideas about this country right. from about the outside. America? Right. You really dream about that? I thought, hmm. <laughs> I think you're pulling you know. my leg right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I was thinking having a pharmacy degree at that time. And I thought, yeah. okay, pharmaceutical companies making a lot of money. Maybe the bonus would be a house. Mm. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> right. <laughs> popped. Yeah, yeah, it popped your dream. But you stay. Well, reality. And which is way better than stupid dreams. <laughs> more rewarding you you know buy your own damn house right right, <laughs> right. here you go right someday i'll buy my own house too. your own damn house <laughs> with your damn tea money yeah, yeah. that's right <laughs> <laughs> and also to be you know flexible mm. and i mean as you're building a business you have to be flexible you like, got to oh, be yeah. yeah right yeah and looking for new ways to Especially a person like you who's extremely passionate. So it's not like you're a business person. Like, you know, I'm going to start like this business. Money and, it was like, yeah. I'm going to start this passion. Yeah, yeah, there was no money behind it. Right. <laughs> you know, you got to... And I feel like that's what... That's the better place to be. You know, it was so funny when we went over to my brother's house to make a oh, no. and stuff. <laughs> and my niece, who's like now 16 working at whatever some fast food fast joint, food which joint. i could yeah don't say i don't it. blame don't her for not it. wanting to work that much longer but she just kept saying i just want to make lots of money with their big baddie yeah. false eyelashes you know it's like the 16 year old with bleached yeah. blonde hair i was like that's so wrong but that's i don't so blame wrong. her i don't blame but, her oh, well you're 16 i right? know yeah. there I was a point money. in my life i just thought Money, money. I never right? thought that, you unfortunately. Never that? <laughs> well, the older generation would tell you, something. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, what is that phrase? I know, uh, that phrase. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah. it could go both ways. Yeah, One yeah, is yeah, like yeah. money can't save everything, but then the the other way is like you can't live without money. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. a phrase. Okay, we'll come back to that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish the. Let's do a, a small circle today. Let's finish the tea with the first tea. Oh, Yay. perfect! See how mm. how it's showing up. Yeah, that's a good idea. There you go. Before we go, yes. Maybe you should say your where you can see your art, so people might be curious that are watching. Yeah. See what we're oh well, I'm represented by Studio E, mm. um, which is in Seattle. So that's mm. Studio E dot net. Still eat that net. Yep, yep. Mm. And then you can also go to my own website, which is timothy siciliano.com. S I C I L I A N O dot com. And then Perfect. You can see all my work there as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. And how about you, Luis? I have no. Oh, wait a minute. Studio E Gallery dot net. Oh, there sorry. you go. Very Studio well. Okay. E That's why I'm double checking. You know. Yeah, don't listen to me. Listen yeah. to him. <laughs> <laughs> For the facts. Yeah. <laughs> the so, right address, yeah. etc. <laughs> Studio and then letter E Gallery dot net. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And look for Timothy Siciliano. Siciliano. <laughs> I am nothing. I have no website, and. I'm not selling anything. <laughs> <laughs> the end. That's good though. Kind of feel free that way. Not selling anything. <laughs> well, he does have the nine to five, and then I'm like, like I said, he's the five. lake. I'm five. the water skier. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, perfect idea. Delicate. Usually we don't do that. Do we? Commercial? No, like when we have tea tasting. I don't recall ever that we oh. that we went back to oh the first oh to tea. close the In closing. Thing. Yeah. You, do you do this typically then now? No. No. Okay. Just uh, just whatever comes to my just out mind. of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Once in a while it sounds yeah. Like yeah. Once in a while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but commercial? No. No. <laughs> This was this uh, podcast sponsored was by Studio Lipton. E <laughs> Lipton Tea. Oh yeah, wait until we have sponsors. Yeah, I could get some sponsors <laughs> soon. That would be wonderful. Oh, I'll be so looking forward to the day when we announce sponsors. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, yeah, right. <laughs> well. My company is also looking for a new sugar daddy, which is no fun. Yeah, no fun, right? right? Yeah, I know. Sugar daddy. Right. (laughs) Investors. No, just sponsors. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, isn't it for sale? Yeah, sold. It's sold. 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 Yeah. It already Uh sold. Sold. When did it sell? But the legal department is finalizing all the paperwork with FTC and all that. Right, right, right. So it's still... mm, Oh, I didn't say anything about right. selling. So yeah, okay. Right. We don't know who you are, where you work. Right. We don't know anything about you. Right. You kind of just. Get I'm up. the lake. You are, no, no. You you get. <laughs> you don't up, see you, anything under the, <laughs> the surface. <laughs> you just get off the boat and just walk into here. I say, okay, I'll drink some tea with you. <laughs> right. 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 Singing an Italian song outside the shop. Yeah, I was like, oh wow, who is that? Right. Singing Italian boating where song. My hat, it has three corners. Venice. That's not even the Venice. right <laughs> tune for it. But I can't find the actual notes in my head aren't coming up. My hat, it has three corners. Three corners has my hat. <laughs> right, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Know yeah. We foreigners don't know what you are singing. <laughs> I don't even know if it's Italian or not. <laughs> Sounds like it. Yeah. Sounds Italian like. I'm still thinking about that phrase. So some, some, something about me. Me chen wan wan bu neng. What? Yo chen neng shi gui tui mo. Right. Yeah. I only know the yo chen part. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. I but know, me yeah. chen. Uh, Wait, is this being filmed as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. I just and, didn't know. Like, because I think podcasts, and I think, oh, podcast is like, you know, just oral. Oh, we used to do that, just yeah. the oral part, and yeah. now we are we are filming it to 
to put it on YouTube so people can have choices if they want to watch it right. or they would just want to yeah. listen to yeah. it. So we yeah. publish. It might be str strange without seeing who these weirdos are. <laughs> <laughs> So much fun. Is that note? Let's uh, drink this delicate tea. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to this one. Cause to I... get the sweetness. I'll just drink from here. Because it's a sweet session. <laughs> mm. This just kind of bring us back down to earth. Mm -hmm. Something calmer. Yes. Something more delicate and sweet. Mm. Mm. Pretty. Yes. Just like you too. <laughs> yes. Well, the show is over. <laughs> speak the truth. No, no, not yet. So we'll just oh, officially <laughs> say goodbye. Wow, that was thank an hour you. and a half. Yeah, an thank hour and 45 minutes. Wow. <sighs> See how entertaining we are? I know. I know. I mean, Thank we just you. all get along. It's, it's easy. It's we don't not have to. Now. We're all present for each other. <laughs> I'm not entertaining. I'm here. I'm You've honored to be here. Actually, a little bit more yeah. than entertaining <laughs> this time around. <laughs> so, thank you, Louis. It's his Thank hat. you, Timothy. I yes. cannot even pronounce it. Timothy. Right? Timothy. After, what, 14 T years? Timothy. Yeah. The, I'm, a, the, I'm still a foreigner. That's I right. cannot say Timothy. The, thank you for being here. We'll see you next time. Adios. Bye. <laughs>